Oops, I got to get rid of the old one. Here's the new one. All right. So, so far, now what you need to do is add 3.5 to your previous answer. Okay. What, what am I talking about here? Use the form from the side. Okay. Your previous answer is the change in the, in the, oh, if it didn't regulate it, the average sentence. Okay. So we figured out, we figured out that the change in temperature, the change in temperature is the, is whatever we converted the, the 98.6 Fahrenheit into centigrade. Then we add when you divided the answer that you got from, um, in question nine. Okay. When you, when you got your answer to question nine, you probably got 3.5 and then you converted the 98.6 into centigrade. And now you add nine and 10 together and you get what the new temperature is of the human body if it doesn't regulate itself. Okay. Now what I want you to do is convert 41 degrees, go backwards and convert 41 degrees centigrade into Fahrenheit. And you'll see a very dangerous temperature, body temperature, okay, over 104 degrees. All right. So do you understand what you're to do here? Um, I kind of went a little bit crazy on you, but you were doing so, this is some this is some pretty highfalutin science. This is um, and you can see how it fits together. And some of the questions you might have is, well, how did they find the specific heat of the body? That's a great question. Go to a respectable Google a respectable science thing and, and um, website, and you'll probably find all kinds of cool information on that. Um, how does the body regulate itself? Well, there you go. That's what the next, that's what that marathon. Um, <laughs> I like my question 14. Sorry, I humor myself. Um, that's what that marathon uh video is that I have will will help you with questions um, 13 through seventeen and then eighteen if you're, if you're going to measure the width of a human hair which of the SI units would be most appropriate for that remember the width of a human hair is pretty small. Which, which one of these is the small? If you're going to measure the distance from New York, to which units are appropriate for this? Definitely not the light year. Oh, did I do that? Okay. Temperature of the bank reads 38 degrees centigrade. How would you convert that? Estimate that in Fahrenheit. Remember when I said... Um, to how, to how to estimate things. So I'm going to help you with 21 and 22 here. These guys are pretty straightforward. And if you screw them up, you can, you know, you can go, oh, I missed those. So let me, and I don't play the game where I rearrange those either. All right. So you'll be fine. All right. So now how do, how do we estimate that again? How does that work? And it's what I would do in like Saudi Arabia when I was in Saudi Arabia or Kuwait or, um, well, in Iraq, nothing was really working, but um, when I was there in 2003, I think it's a little better now. I don't know. It's, um, but um, 38 degrees, remember, because it's that screwy thing, wait a minute, did I do that? Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just now discovering that I did the, the problem 10. I don't know what planet I was on. I did the conversion of, um, I, I mixed it all up. I did a terrible job. Terrible job. Should be five nights. Oh my God. I can't believe I did that. All right. I wish I could take it out now, but this is so wrong. 
All right. That's embarrassing. That was very embarrassing. All right. I'm just a double check now. Now I've, now I've lost all faith in myself. All faith in myself. Um, well, one thing you can do is you can go degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go to that slide. I'm sorry about this. I just kind of realized, I was like, I wish I'd have done that uh, computation. I needed to multiply by five ninths. Divide the answer by two. Yes, and you get 33.6, and that makes sense, 33.3. .3. Yeah, okay. All right, so completely wrong. The first time I did problem 10, showed you how to do problem 10, was completely wrong. I got to make a note to self to do that. All right, here's the right way. It's five nines. To get, it's five divided by nine because it's the change in, I'm working being stupid. All right, so you get 66.6 .6 here, and then you then so what you do is you take five times 66.6, .6 and then divide that by nine, and you should get um, something reasonable: 66.6 .6 .6 times five divided by nine I, is 37. <laughs> Okay, that's 37 Celsius. That makes much more sense. Okay. Man, what a nim rod. Okay, I'm glad we got to this other part where we're looking at this thing and we're going, okay, so 38 degrees. Well, that looks pretty close to 100 degrees because we just said 98.6 was 37. So I, I, I estimate in Fahrenheit. So how do you do it in Fahrenheit? What you do is you multiply by um, you multiply by two and add 32. So on question 21, if you're still with me, if you still trust me, question 21, 38 degrees Celsius. You want it, an estimate in Fahrenheit? Two times the Celsius in plus 32. It, it gets you in the ballpark. If you want to do it the, the complete way, that's fine too. And then last but not, for New Year's in Kenya is visiting on one of those incredibly cold days. She sees the TV news, says the temperature is minus 12 outside. Minus 12 outside. That's Fahrenheit. What would that be in Celsius? Remember, at freezing in Celsius, it's going to be a big negative number in Celsius. Okay. Um, to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, we need to um, multiply negative 12 times 9 fifths. Um, and well, we need to convert it to Celsius, which is what I screwed up on. I, I'm, I'm, I swear to goodness, 5 ninths times negative 12. Minus 32. Okay? Now, when you do a minus a minus, what happens? Minus 12 minus 32. It's like you spent money. You spent $12, then you spent $32. How much money did you spend? $44. So you got 5 nines times negative 44. You do the same thing. 5 times negative 44 divided by 9, and you should get the answer. All right. I apologize for that. Boy, what a nimrod. <laughs> out here.